Hey everyone, DJ Prime is in the house. You ready for this? We're gonna mix it up a bit. That's right. DJ Prime's up in here about to tell you about the Nintendo Switch 2 coming out in September. Spin it! Well, everyone, as uh, DJ Prime was letting you guys know, yeah, today we're going to be talking about why the Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed in September. And look, this feels like a spin. The whole point of the DJ bit was that we're doing a little spin here, but the spin actually makes sense due to a report last week. What are we talking about? Well, first, we have to just briefly mention this thing, and it's actually a really important part of the whole kit and caboodle, and that is that Nintendo announced a Nintendo Direct, or in this case, a Nintendo Museum Direct today. We're going to be live streaming that Direct, and then you know, they did this little response to it saying, please note that there will be no game announcements or mention of the Nintendo Switch successor during this presentation. All right, they said the same thing for the June Direct, and you might go, well, this news really has nothing to do with Switch 2. Nintendo told us it has nothing to do with Switch 2, and yeah, Nintendo didn't lie to you. This particular Direct has nothing to do with the Switch 2, but actually, uh, it being announced at all fits in with a report last week that absolutely had to do with the Nintendo Switch 2. By the way, it also has to do with the fact that there's going to be another Nintendo event later this month, be it a Direct Mini, or a General Direct, or a Partner Showcase, or a Zelda Direct, or whatever. There's going to be some other Nintendo event this month. So, like, that's already news in and of itself. And then all of this is related to when Nintendo is going to reveal the Nintendo Switch 2. Whew, man, I told you, we got a, quite the spin on Nintendo simply announcing a Museum Direct. So what are we talking about? Well, 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 let's put the pieces together. As I remind you, we're on our road to 150,000 subscribers. I'd appreciate it if you would drop a subscription to the channel if you're enjoying all the news and you want to stay as up to date on everything Nintendo. Oh, and I would appreciate if you go down in the comments and let me know what your favorite Mario game is of all time. All right, let's go ahead and dive into this because it all began really about a week ago, one week ago when we posted the video, when we talked about this. If you guys remember, this comes originally from Pedro Henrique Luda Lipa, uh, otherwise known as PH or Brazil Online, uh, and he does this podcast. He actually does a lot of things. We're going to get into who he is because he's an actual game journalist, and that's something that's really important to clarify here. He isn't your typical rumor person. He actually is a journalist. But it says, according to our own Brazil, the journalist who broke the news of the 2025-2 uh, Switch release, Nintendo seems to have brought forward some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. Some presentations, note the S, presentations, so multiple, plural. This is going to matter in a moment. He doesn't specify which ones. So he doesn't say what the presentations are, but there will be multiple of them that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward to the next couple of weeks. He also says that the current podcast, which is right here, should be one of the last news, uh, should be one of the last before news about the Switch 2 really starts to pop up. Again, one of the last, not the last. He also adds, and this is just his personal opinion on the Switch 2 release schedule. Uh, but yes, so Nintendo seems to have brought forward pl some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. They moved presentations from next month to this one. So multiple presentations moved to the next couple of weeks. And this again was a week ago. You see August 11th, et cetera, et cetera. So obviously you could say, well, okay, the Nintendo Museum Direct is one such presentation. But it doesn't end there. First, let's get into who the heck PH Brazil is, because you guys might not know. So if you guys go over and look at his Twitter account, you'll see he's got some descriptions here. He translated about it. It says, just a brother, opinions are my own, but they should also be yours. So TVPH, OX, do control. These are the places he works. Uh, Editoria Europa, X, UOL, Jugo. So he used to work there and the enemy. So then he gives his email and all that. So again, this is what he, you know, this is like the outlets he's worked for and or has worked for. And where has he been the whole last week while all these other rumors and stuff were going on? Well, he was at the Nintendo World Championships. You can see here a photo of him with, uh, you know, Masuda. And yeah, he was at the Nintendo World Championships. Um, this is a picture of him out there as well. And yeah, uh, he, he did this as well. You know, Pokemon fans for years. Hold on, Game Freak. Develop games slowly. Game Freak says okay, and the fans get mad. This is all because they only showed a trailer uh, they promised a video game trailer uh, yesterday, and it was just of the TCG, the trading card game app they're making for phones. So some fans are really mad they didn't see Legends EA or others. Meanwhile, yeah, he's literally 
being like, we the Game Freak's doing exactly what we wanted them to do, take their time with their games. So it's actually a, a, a positive thing. Now, you might go, okay, Nate, you're just spinning this. Like, that's what you said, right? You're the spin doctor. You're DJ Prime today. You're spinning it up. You're making this about something that it might not be. Well, then we have uh, Brazil himself finally speaking up after a week because some people were being critical of him over on Family Boards, acting like he doesn't know what he's talking about. In comes this post from Brazil. Same guy. So Truno here says, it was smart of Brazil to not specify the type of presentation. Note, he's leaving off the S because it was presentations, plural, not singular, uh, that he hinted at because now he can come on and say, I never said which type of direct it be. He winks. Anyways, there's no chance he'd have a source with info on Nintendo Museum. Brazil comes out and says, I understand this attitude because most people out there are just making shit up, but I'm not. I don't mind it on Era. He's referring to uh, Reset Era. He doesn't mind like people being skeptical and, and being dicks over on Reset Era uh, or elsewhere. You know, other people being skeptical because they don't know him or have a track record with him. But it does annoy me to see it here. I've given you, specifically family boards, info on every single presentation this past year and more, which is true. His track record is he's given info on every single presentation. And while he was a little off on an April Direct, he was spot on on the one before it, spot on the one before that. And then he was spot on on the June. Like he's been spot on with a lot of stuff. Things seem to have been moving around if the Nintendo system actually was internally delayed. If you assume that delay happened, that probably changed plans, right? And now we said Nintendo changed plans from September to August. And here we have a Nintendo Museum Direct, which might have been planned for September, which would make sense because, again, the museum opens this fall. And September, you know, if they did it towards the end of September, that's the beginning of fall. It actually would have made sense to do uh, the direct then, but for some reason they're doing it now. Now, he says, but to your point, no, this wasn't all I was talking about. No, all. So he is saying that, yes, the Nintendo Direct Museum was one of the things he was talking about. He says, there's more coming this month. Why would I suggest this would cause movement in the speculation thread? Oh, man. Like... That's the thing. Uh, Brazil basically said, look, there's more coming this month. So, one, get hyped. Some other direct or some other thing from Nintendo happening this month. Some other presentation. That's pretty exciting. But also, go back to his original or the original translation of what he said. Because, again, he speaks Portuguese on a Brazilian podcast. Go back to the original uh, you know, translated thing here that talks about what he said on the show. And I have gone through the show. I went through this in the prior video on this specific news about how I went through this. And I had other people look at it. And, yes, this is what he said. Nintendo seems to have brought forward some plans regarding the Switch 2's release schedule. Some presentations, and he doesn't specify which ones, that were scheduled for the end of September seem to have been brought forward in the next couple of weeks he also says that the current podcast should be one of the last before news about the switch 2 really starts to pop up yes 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 that's all said so what is happening well brazil was right <laughs> if another look he said multiple presentations this month now we have one today uh he's saying there's another one this month that would fit the multiple presentations the plural part oh and by the way he said that these things that are happening now were supposed to happen next month but they were moved forward now why would they be moved forward well because the switch to's release schedule in terms of when they want to reveal stuff has been moved forward now why would it be moved forward let's say nintendo's original plan was to reveal the nintendo switch 2 in october why would they move it forward to september well there's a little show happening in september known as the tokyo game show it's happening at the end of the month from september 26th through september 29th where nintendo has a lot of major partners like square enix and capcom there presenting games such as the new monster hunter game and the last monster hunter game sold eight plus million on nintendo switch so you could see how maybe capcom might want to advertise their new Monster Hunter game for 2025 is coming to the next Nintendo system. But they can't do that right now until the system's revealed. So what if Capcom gave Nintendo a little call and said, hey, we know we're in your reveal trailer and we know that you're doing this thing in October. Can you move it forward, you know, two or three weeks so we can make it as part of our marketing campaign at Tokyo Game Show? And we think it's a mutually beneficial thing. It drives hype for our game and it drives hype for you guys. Yeah. Yeah. That could be what's happening. Now, I know a lot of you believe Switch 2 is not being revealed in 2024, but I point you back to this report over here from Brazil in that podcast where he said we were going to get the events this month because things have been moving forward. He mentions that things from September move to now. Why would they move to now? Well, because Switch 2's release schedule was brought forward. Ergo, while he doesn't directly say it, it's definitely being inferred Nintendo Switch 2 is being revealed in September. I told you guys that this is the spin doctor. And that's what we're doing, but I don't think it's such a crazy spin. 
This announcement literally goes along with what Brazil said. It caused people to be skeptical of Brazil and say there's no way he'd know about this. He just didn't clarify the presentation so he could be right. And then he turns around and says, this wasn't all I was talking about. There's something else happening this month. Why do you doubt me? I literally on this forum have been giving you correct information for a year. So what are we doing? Uh, anyways, he's an actual video game journalist. He was out at Pokemon Worlds covering Pokemon Worlds. Maybe he's traveling out to Gamescom here because that's coming up this week. Uh, opening Night Live is tomorrow. We will be live streaming that as well. Anyways, uh, that's going to do it for today's video. You guys let me know what you think about it. I will be obviously live streaming the actual Nintendo Museum Direct. We'll be going live at 4 p.m. Central Time. It's at 5 p.m. is the Direct, so we'll probably stream until about 5.30, go 20 minutes past and just kind of chit-chat about what we saw and how cool it is uh, and this sort of stuff. Hey, you know what? I talked about it last night. We'll go over it again tonight because I think it's very fascinating that, yeah, it sure as heck seems that what Brazil is saying, inferring without directly saying it, is the Nintendo Switch 2 will be revealed in September. But the other news here is that there will be another Nintendo event this month. Again, this is reportedly, he is a game journalist. That's why we call it that. I know I kind of refer to it as rumors because even when game journalists say something, we can't verify it. So it's still a rumor to us, but it, a rumor can still be a report. It's just coming from someone very reliable. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in and I'll catch you in the next video.